going on guys it's incognito thrifts yes one in the same i'm all cleaned up <laughs> um guys today the challenge is very simple every day should be a challenge you know every time you go to a thrift you don't know what you're gonna find so it's a challenge to just even come out of there with something um so my following challenge is going to be coming out with at least one clothing article that's not my forte, so I'm challenging myself because I'm gonna have to research, a lot of research. Um, and at least one book. So, going out of my comfort zone a little bit, I feel like I can sort of spot if a snow globe is gonna be worth it, if shoes are worth it, uh, if certain toys are worth it, I can kinda just eyeball those and just put them in my car, do my research um, after I've kinda gone around the store one time. But when it comes to books and clothing articles, I'm not as fine-tuned in that area. So that is my challenge today. Walk out with at least one clothing article and one book. I actually just had my first book sold and it kind of gives me that motivation. I picked it up for a dollar. It sold for uh, like 22, including shipping. So not too shabby. And media mail is pretty cheap. So it's an incentive to go out and find more books to sell. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. We're here. I always like to check out toys first, see if there's anything new. Like this, Leonardo, TMNT, five bucks, 2014 Viacom. I'll do the research later. Iron Man, seen it, seen it, seen it. I just passed the book section. I gotta be back to that area shortly to do the adequate research. Right now, I'm going to figurines. I left these yesterday. I like to see glassware, cactus margarita glasses. I've seen those before. But I like to see figurines if there's clocks, no globes. So here we are. So a little update, I'm not picking up a book, it's taking up my whole time and I'm literally having to scan everything. So on these lunch breaks, I cannot try to do a challenge where I'm trying to pick up a book because the cheapest book is like a dollar and it's selling for like four bucks. With shipping, I'm not making anything and I'm not in the business of losing money. So that will be a challenge to pick up a book on a day where I'm not in my lunch break. So I gotta pick up clothing though. In other news, as I walk to the shoes, I find some Gel Cayano 20s. If you don't know about A6 and Gel Cayano 20s, I recommend you do some research. You will be surprised, to say the least. John Ashford Golf. Never heard of the brand. $6.99 for this embroidered golfing sweater. I just want to focus right, but you kind of get the idea. Looks very nice, sells for about 30, gonna pick it up for seven bucks, lovely. All right guys, so finally out of the store and as I explained, I gave up on the book, on picking up the book, mainly because of time constraints. Um, the time simply just didn't give me the opportunity to do as much research as it would be needed in order for me to pick up a book that would eventually be worth money. Um, I did end up picking up a golf sweater, a vest, um, Lacken McKee, and that sweater or that vest was four bucks, I think it was. Selling for about 30 to 40 dollars max. Um, I'll give a full breakdown of everything that I did get overall, and 
And the last items I was waiting in line, I found a pretty old, the reason I'm saying pretty old is because it's Reebok branded. Reebok Miami Dolphins 40th season, season ticket holder hat in orange. So it was a pretty nice pickup. I did research and I couldn't find any hat that matched the exact description that had, you know, season ticket holder, 40th season, and it's Reebok branded. So I picked that up for four bucks. I think I could probably get about 30 out of it. Um, but anyway, here's the full breakdown of everything I just picked up. All right, that's about the best I could do on the fly. Excuse the airplane overhead. There's always some sort of interruption when I'm in the garage. So first thing that came out of the bag are the A6 Gel Cayano 20th anniversary. This colorway is not the most popular. It is still a very quick seller. It was $6.99. And this is probably going to sell for, I mean, given the condition of the sole, uh, probably 50 to 60 bucks. The next thing was this uh, label maker. It was $3.99. Pretty unique looking uh, device. It's the Dymo 1550. I don't know if you can see that too well. Um, but ultimately, again, $3.99. It's not very heavy. This can probably, I don't think it'll go first class, but um, I can probably send this in a flat rate envelope. And this is going for about $25 to $30. The next item. Oh, it opened up. It's called the Instant Speller. It is a 1981 Dr. W. Smith patent pending um, instant speller. So it's a way to fix your spelling mistakes on the fly. It was 99 cents. So it kind of just like opens up. With this little lever here, you can go to the letter of the word it is you're trying to spell or what have you. If, if it would allow me to adjust this. Anyway, um, let's say I want to go to letter S. All right, I'm there. I open up. Oh, and it works. It pulled up to the letter S. So it'll help me look and spell words correctly for the letter S. 99 cents going for about 20 bucks uh, The next item is this We NCAA football 09 all play came with a little booklet The disc looks like it's in good condition. It was dollar fifty and it's going for about 12 bucks This brand new please tell me it is brand new. Okay, it is I, oh there's a bit of a scratch here in the seal, um, the plastic wrap, I'm sorry. But the actual case is unopened. See, that is unopened. It was $1.50 and it was selling brand new for like $13. Next item, we have the John Ashford Golf knit sweater uh, this one was six dollars and ninety nine cents these sweaters that had these uh, detailed embroidered golfers um, were going for about like twenty five to thirty dollars so there's that there is this ghost finders 35 millimeter single use flash cameras it was $3.99 and it sells pretty consistently for about $20. Um, so this is going to go first class. So shipping will probably be about $3.50. After eBay fees, I'm probably netting around $12. This other item, this Olympus Pearl Recorder Micro, micro Cassette Recorder. Uh, get a good look it's two it was two dollars and ninety nine cents came with one little Sony cassette already inside and uh, there is some corrosion it looks pretty nasty in there there's some corrosion but I can just clean that up test it out and 
it's selling for like $35. This colorway, I saw it sell for even up to $40. So for a $3 investment, if I can sell this for $40, this will definitely go first class. I'll probably end up netting about $33, maybe. And last, but certainly not least, Lacken McKee Trading Company. It's this uh, kind of like vest um, that is, is pretty warm on the inside. I forgot what you call this material. Well, you can see the freaking material. I'm here stressing when I could just show you. Anyway, this pickup was $4.99. And this exact same colorway sold for like $45. So I'll probably end up netting about 35 about 35 after fees and shipping and stuff. So the challenge for today was pick up a book and pick up a clothing um, article. Oh wait, there's something else. Give me one second. And I'm back. So this last item this dolphins with the old logo 40 40th season patch season ticket holder embroidered in the back and it's reebok branded picked up this little sucker for three dollars and 99 cents it is adjustable hat in the back um it's in great condition no real discoloration there uh, the 40 years is from 1965 to 2005 so this hat is roughly about 16 years old and it's in pretty good condition and this is back when Reebok was making you know like football accessories and stuff oh not accessories but um, yeah I guess this is an accessory so anyway picked up for three dollars and ninety nine cents could not find any hat that matched this exact description when I was doing the research there wasn't any hat that said season ticket holder or had the the little patch on the side along with the old Dolphins logo in all orange so I'm probably going to list that sucker for about 35 to 40 dollars should be able to sell and I'll be happy if I even sell for like 25 ish because for four dollars to 25 ship first class I'll probably end up netting if I sell for 25, I'll probably net about 17 to 18 bucks. So anyway, those were the pickups of today. Not the most exciting things, but these are the bread and butter pickups. Hat, vest, sweater. These are things that I normally don't pick up. I don't pick up too much clothing because it takes up a lot of space. Uh, this micro cassette recorder. This is probably going to be the the find of the day along with the asic gel cayano 20s this is probably going to be the most money makers uh, label creator jungle book Wii game and this instant speller so if you guys find this video of um entertainment to you so you can see what people are finding in their local areas uh, the kind of things that I challenge myself with and, you know, trying to find items that may not be my forte. You know, I encourage you to do the same. Try to think outside the box. Get out of your comfort zone. If you research everything that catches your eye, even if you don't know anything about it, do the research. You never know when you're going to hit some gold. And with that said subscribe like comment below what you think was the best find that i picked up um and yeah till next time guys peace